You can just make it out to cash by Carolyn Castor, AP photo. Of the untold number of stupid things that have come out of Donald Trump's mouth, making a strong case for the stupidest was his claim, as he announced his candidacy for president, that he would build a wall on the southern border of the country and make the criminals and rapists in Mexico pay for it. So dumb was this declaration that even Trump eventually realized he would have to tweak it, probably around the time that Mexico's president, Enrique Peña Nieto, said there was no way in hell he would fund the project. From there, Mr. Art of the deal changed his story to taxpayers will put up the money initially, but Mexico will pay us back, which later became Mexico will pay for the wall through import tariffs, which quickly changed to Mexico will pay for the wall indirectly through NAFTA, which morphed, earlier this month, into the wall will pay for itself. And now, the president has landed on a new idea, make the military pay for it. Trump has privately been making the case that the Pentagon should use some of the $700 billion it received as part of last week's spending bill to fund his vanity project, the Washington Post reported Tuesday. After mentioning it several advisors last week, Trump reportedly floated the idea by House Speaker Paul Ryan in a meeting on Wednesday at the White House, to which Ryan offered little reaction. During another meeting, this one with senior aides, Trump apparently whined about how much money the Department of Defense was getting, in noting that surely the Pentagon could afford to part with a few, or, say, $67 billion. According to reporters Josh Dossie and Mike Debinis, President Temper Tantrum has had a hard time watching TV lately, heretofore his only solace in this cruel world, due to criticism of the spending deal he signed last week, and the fear that his base could sour on him without any wall progress. The fact that he allegedly had an affair with a porn star, whom he subsequently paid off to stay quiet, it is obviously a plus for them. Currently, just $641 million is earmarked for new fencing. And it can only be used on operationally effective designs that were already deployed last May, meaning that unless something changes, the prototypes Trump recently visited in California will be just for show. Of course, as everyone but the president seems to understand, it's highly unlikely that the Pentagon would divert funds from the military to finance the wall, which experts say won't actually stop the flow of illegal immigration at all, and which would require congressional votes that Trump obviously doesn't have. Not only will Democrats take a hard pass military spending paying for his fence, but Pentagon officials, per White House advisors, may also blanch at the possibility. In a statement to the Post, Minority Leader Chuck Schumer made his feelings pretty clear. First, Mexico was supposed to pay for it, then U.S. taxpayers, and now our men and women in uniform? This would be a blatant misuse of military funds and tied up in court for years. Secretary James Mattis ought not bother and instead use the money to help our troops, rather than advance the president's political fantasies, he said. That virtually no one is going for the idea hasn't stopped Trump from floating it in his preferred venue of choice. Over the weekend he suggested on Twitter that the military should scrounge up the money for national security reasons, https colon slash slash twitter.com slash real Donald Trump slash status slash 9771668874937999936 https colon slash slash twitter.com slash real Donald Trump slash status slash 9778559683641712645 The national security argument might might hold a bit more water if the Trump administration hadn't targeted traditional border security measures for for cuts or delays in funding that experts say pose a serious threat to border security. Those experts also say that the, the wall will largely useless unless it's 35,000 feet high. Meanwhile, at the White House, good soldier Sarah Sanders on Tuesday told reporters that the administration still has plans to look for potential ways for Mexico to pay for the wall. Anyway, stay tuned for next week when Trump privately presses for the Department of Veterans Affairs to quit being so stingy and pony up the dough. How much money do they really need to treat PTSD? If you would like to receive the Levin Report in your inbox daily, click here to subscribe.